Yeah, that's all I need. A sword that makes me want to dance before it kills me. Hey, what's up my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider build DX Beat Closer, or Crosser, it's another situation of I don't know what to call it, but here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging, so at the front here, we have the sword, we have Kamen Rider Cross Z, that's what I'm going to call him, deal with it, on this side of the box, we got Cross Z with the sword, we got Cross Z with the sword on the top of the box. You have the gauge, you have the slot, you have the grip end. On the bottom of the box, you have Cross Z and the sword. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other, and you have Sad Pac Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the DX Beat closer or crosser i'm just gonna stick with crosser because it just sounds cooler but before we take a look at the sword itself i want to do a quick quick update here of the cross dragon because there was something i was made aware of that i was not aware of um and it is that uh this does make some different noises if you plug it into the driver without a bottle in there. So I just wanted to show that off really quick here. So we will bring in our friend, the Bild Duraiba, and we'll just do this real quick. So just plug it in without a bottle. Get some funky dance music there, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then we'll do our attack. And there you go. So you get some different noises there from the cross dragon if there is not a bottle inserted there. So just wanted to show that off really quick, quick little update for ya. So now let's move on with what you came to see, and that is the Beat Crosser, the weapon of Common Rider Cross Z. That's what I'm calling him, deal with it. <laughs> but um, this is a really, really fun toy. I really dig this. This is definitely my favorite roleplay weapon of this line. I love this thing. I love it so much. <laughs> let's get in close here. So you can take a look at the details. Um, the blade is done in that silver-ish plastic, some nice detail. The blade itself, of course, is a nice bendy material. You can see the red and green in there. All that will light up once we get down to the noises, but you can see some nice details there on the blade. You have some nice metallic blue paint here as well. You get some silver right here. You have these little side spikes here, which again are done in that uh, kind of soft bendy plastic. And going down the handle, got some nice details. You got some more of that metallic blue. You got the build logo right there. Some nice details. And on the back, no real paint to speak of. Your battery compartment is right here. It takes two AAAs. Your speaker is right here, and your on off switch is right there. And of course, you have an opening right here for a full bottle because this does have full bottle compatibility, full bottle functionality. And uh, yeah. Um, you know, as usual, my complaint always with these roleplay swords is they're too small, I wish it was bigger, but oh well, it is what it is. But for a comparison, so you can get a sense here of the size of it, um, here it is with the, uh, Komanin Poto sword, it actually is a little bit longer than the Komanin Poto sword, um, here it is with the, uh, with the steam blade, you can see, a little bit longer than the steam blade. And here it is with the uh, the drill crusher. It's pretty much about the same size as the drill crusher, lengthwise anyway. This The drill crusher has a lot more bulk to it, but lengthwise, basically the same size. So, yeah, let's get down to the noises, shall we? Let's. So, your on off switch is right here. Turn it on, and you get... Tells you what it is in case you already forgot, and you see those nice lights going on right in there. Pull the trigger, and you get nice slashing noise. 
You can rapid fire. So you got that going on right there. And we can go into our attacks. So to go into the attacks, you pull on this back section right here. And we get some dance music. And pull the trigger. And you get these smash hits. So now if we pull the handle twice. I feel like I'm in the club. Pull the trigger. get the million hits and when you pull the handle three times you get my personal favorite uh -huh. what yeah uh -huh. get it get it what anyway pull the trigger <laughs> You got the mega hit right there. <laughs> That's my absolute favorite. I love that one. <laughs> so there you have that. So now we can bring in a full bottle. We'll use the dragon full bottle. It just seems appropriate. And you take it and it just slides in from underneath and you get special tune. So now when you pull the trigger, you get a new attack noise. We can rapid fire that, and now we can go back into our special attacks. So pull the handle once. Pull the trigger. Get the smash slash, pull it twice. Pull the trigger by accident there while I was dancing, but there you go. You have the million slash, and the bullet three times. And you got the mega slash. So there you go. That is fun. That is just fun. I love that. I love that so much. Um, now the full bottle is locked in place. So you don't want to just yank it out because you probably break something. Uh, the release button is right here. The silver bit right here is actually a button. Push that. And the full bottle comes right out, makes a little disengaging noise. And that is pretty much it there. Um, now one thing to note is that the sword does not have a reader of any kind. It does not know what bottle you are plugging in there. All it knows is that you are plugging a bottle into it. Um, the bottle just pushes this little red button right here. And that's all. And it goes into the special tune. So that's all the bottle is doing. So it doesn't matter what bottle you use, it will make the exact same noises. It doesn't matter. Um, the bottle is just pushing that button and telling the sword to switch noises. So that is how that works. And that is pretty much it for the Beat Crosser. Um, this thing is just really, really fun. I just, I love the music. I love, like all of the music that this plays. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, definitely, the most fun uh, roleplay toy uh, of this line so far anyway, and I, yeah, 
I love it. I love it. <laughs> too much fun. It is too much fun. But there you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items, they mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out my common Rider build playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider build, the DX of Beats Crosser, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face.